While granting anticipatory bail to writer and social activist Civic Chandran in a sexual harassment case, a district sessions court in Kerala has observed that the offence under section 354A of the IPC that criminalizes outraging of a woman's modesty would prima facie not be attracted if the complainant was wearing sexually provocative dresses. Chandran, who had furnished photographs of the complainant from her social media, along with his bail application, was granted anticipatory bail by the court on August 12th. Earlier on August 2nd, he had obtained anticipatory bail in yet another sexual harassment case filed against him. Referring to the photographs of the woman attached with the bail plea, the Sessions Court Judge S. Krishna Kumar noted in the order, and I quote, The photographs produced along with the bail application by the accused would reveal that the de facto complainant herself is exposing to dresses which are having some sexual provocative one. So Section 354A will not prima facie stand against the accused. The Sessions judge also expressed disbelief that the 74-year-old author who was physically disabled could have made the complainant sit on his lap and fondle her breasts. The court also underscored that in order to attract the offence under Section 354 of the IPC, there must be proof of physical sexual contact, advances and explicit sexual overtures which are absent in the instant case. It was also taken into consideration that the FIR was lodged against the accused person two years after the alleged date of crime without explaining the reason behind the delay. The prosecution case was that while the complainant was attending a camp conveyed by Chandran at Nandi Beach in February 2020, he had caught her hand and had forcefully taken her to a lonely place and had sexually assaulted her. Chandran was thereafter booked under Section 354A subsection 2 of the IPC which is sexual harassment, Section 341 which is wrongful restraint and Section 354 which is assault or criminal force to woman with intent to outrage her modesty of the IPC. The counsel appearing for Chandran contended that it is a false case cooked up by some of his enemies to ruin his reputation and also pointed out that there was a five-month delay in lodging the complaint. Some photographs that the complainant had put up on her social media accounts were also produced to show that she wears what was contended by the counsel to be sexually provocative clothes. It was also alleged that the complainant was with her boyfriend at the camp and that many persons were present at the time the incident allegedly occurred. On the other hand, the public prosecutor opposed the bail application by contending that the accused is in the habit of molesting women and that this is the second sexual harassment case registered against him. The court, however, allowed Chandran's plea and granted him anticipatory bail. It may be noted that the Supreme Court back in March last year had ruled that judges must desist from engaging in misogynistic and patriarchal stereotypes by passing remarks on the dress behaviour or the past conduct of survivors of sexual violence. The Supreme Court had also highlighted that the boys will be boys attitude has no place in judicial reasoning and that courts must be mindful of not trivializing the trauma caused to survivors of sexual violence. Thank you. This is Aratra Kubhomik for Live Law. Keep watching Live Law for more such updates. Also, please let us know what your thoughts are on this order.